Okay, welcome. So this video is going to be broken down into four parts. The first is going to be who the hell am I? The second is going to be about my investing strategy. The third is going to be, a, I'm going to show you a chart that I created based on the research I did based on my investing strategy. And the fourth part is going to be uh, me going into my TD Ameritrade account and actually making these purchase. My money is where my mouth is. So who am I? I am Danny Boo Boo, and I started investing in 2009. I actually wrote a blog post just a few weeks ago about investing for beginners. I give you some kind of jargon, but I also tell you exactly where to start. I wrote that on my personal blog, as you can see here, how to start investing for beginners. If you click into it, you go to the actual blog. Now, this video is not the blog. They're different, but they are companion. I'll put a link in the description. How I invest is I'm a long-term investor, so I look at when companies are on a bargain. I, I invest, as I understand it, I invest kind of like Warren Buffett. He buys a good company at a good price. I'm not looking at the technicals, the PE ratio. I'm looking at the company. Do I know the company? Do I not know the company? Do I see, do you see there's a future? I kind of step back and look at it and think with common sense in the long term what I think of this company. Now, how I did my research to get to the chart that I will show you in a little bit is I used Google. I typed in a bunch of varied searches to try and identify a whole bunch of sources. And I went up to the fifth page of the Google search and I read probably 25 articles related to biggest drops due to the coronavirus. Now, as I said, I like to wait for opportunities. And as it so happens, very coincidentally, back in November, December, I was thinking I have money to invest. I would like to invest. Uh, I took all my money out of the stock market in, in 2017 and 18 to, to build the business that I have now. Uh, and now that I have a successful business, I have money to invest. And just two months later, this happens. This is, this is unprecedented at the timing here. So I want to give you some examples of how I invest in the past and how it has worked out for me. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So the most recent investment I made in a public stock is Chipotle. This was back in 2015. Remember, um, they had some food poisoning and it dropped. So it dropped by about 45% right when that news came out. Before that, it was rising at an incredible rate. They bounced up and down over the next two years, but gradually lost an additional 34% or 65% total. So I thought this is a great opportunity to buy because look, with the 24 hour news cycle, people need news. So this is a bigger problem than it is. That's often the case with news. So I thought about it. All right, they serve millions of people a day. There was a few cases of food poisoning. Uh, I thought that was. I thought the company was not going to go bankrupt, which is a, which is a key. Uh, do I think they're going to go bankrupt? Then I won't invest. If I don't think they're going to go bankrupt, then I think they're going to improve. At what time? How long? So I decided. I think this company's going to improve. So I invested. I invested over the next few months. I kind of dollar cost average. I didn't buy at the very lowest. I bought uh, varying degrees of the low, and then a few years later, as you have have it, it's come back phenomenally well. Netflix, 2011, they had a price hike. Remember, they did a price hike and they lost 800,000 subscribers. So before that, though, they had record revenue. They beat estimates, but they dropped in subscribers, causing them to lose 50% of their value. Now, they lost 800,000 subscribers, but they had 24 million. I was thinking to myself, well, who are they really losing? You know, they're losing these cheapskates. And now that I run my own business, guess who customers give me the biggest headaches? Cheapskates. Now, I didn't know this at the time. I kind of more conceptually thought about it, but uh, as it turns out, that's probably who they lost. They, they lost their cheapest customers, sharing their password with everyone, and they kept the best customers and raised the price. Uh, at, as you, history is history, Netflix has gained all of that plus much more. Going back a few years, CIT, I invested in them. They were one of the first companies I invested in right after the financial crash of 2008. And uh, well, they went bankrupt. <laughs> Luckily, it was one of my first investments. I lost about $900 there. A couple years later, 2010, 2011, do you remember BP, that big, huge, gigantic oil spill that was covered for months on end? Well, I took a step back there. I said, okay, they're on, they're on discount. They, they lost 50% of their share price. Uh, well, since then, they never really recovered, though they, they bounced between three bucks and 60 bucks. Um, Eight years later, they hadn't recovered, so that one didn't work out so well. AIG, 2009, 
they lost 99% of their value, similar to BP. They did never really recover. They kind of bounced up and down. Both of those, I kind of broke out even a little bit more. No, nothing, nothing noteworthy. Now I want to cover some feedback. Before we get into my chart here, I want to cover some feedback that I've gotten from friends. I posted some Instagram stories. Uh, my Instagram will be down below in the description. It's at Danny Boo Boo. And I got some feedback. And I want to cover this feedback because not everyone is a know-it-all, including me, when it comes to stocks. Now, people said, because I said, hey, I'm gonna, it's time to invest. He's, people said, um, people said, whoa, he said, uh, they said, wait, wait until it bottoms out, wait until it shows recovery. They said, uh, wait for back-to-back -back green days before anything. They said, um, they said they, they made predictions. I, they said they think the Dow uh, and the S and P to, to uh, the Dow to two thousand, I think, uh, twenty thousand, and the S and P to eighteen hundred. Buying after that, one person said. Another person says, wait until the market stabilizes. Now, all of these things have one thing in common. They're all assuming they can time the market, which they cannot. <laughs> Trust me, they cannot. If they could, they'd be billionaires. Anyway, they wouldn't be responding to me on Instagram. No offense, if you're watching the various folks that responded to me. But yes, the point is you cannot time the market. The bottom might be now. Who knows? But how I invest is I'm gonna invest now. I think it's a good time to invest. If it goes down more, I'm going to invest more. If it goes up a little bit, I'm probably gonna invest more at that point. I'm not gonna invest everything right now, but now is a great time to invest if you're a long-term investor. That's defined as two years minimum, but probably three or four, even five would be great. So let's jump into it. I'm gonna show you the chart. Here it is. This is what I made last night based on my research. Then we're gonna jump over to TD Ameritrade and I'm gonna make these investments. So the ticker symbol, this is the ticker symbol. Uh, these, this blue one here, these are airlines. So I decided that airlines are probably most affected. I think this is a short term issue, just like the other things I covered. Um, I think Las Vegas, Las Vegas, I just love Las Vegas. I've invested in Las Vegas since 2009. Uh, but I think they're uh, essentially they're be, they're going to be um, they're going to be hit. They're doing good in good times, bad in bad times. And this green section here is cruise liners. Obviously, they're going to be affected. Down here, this one, these are just random ones, and we'll get to them in a second. I'll come. I'm going to take you through my thought process why I chose those that I chose. Those that are highlighted are, are the ones I will be investing in in just a moment. So this is United Airlines. Okay, so their six month average, this one here, I kind of took a rough six month average. It was about 90 bucks, okay? And over here, it was stable. So it was rather stable for the last, uh, for the last year, it was stable. For the last six months, it was about 90 bucks. Now it's 31 as of, as of this morning. That's a 66% drop. And then the yield here, which is uh, how much dividends they pay, zero. So I'm gonna invest in United Airlines because I'm a United Airlines customer. I'm a, I, I hold their credit card, their customer service is good. I'm familiar with the brand, which is important. They're gonna get some investments. Now these, these other ones, uh, Delta here, so something of note for Delta is uh, Warren Buffett bought into this, okay? So uh, that's great and that does give me some confidence, but unless I'm gonna be following Buffett, uh, then I'm not going to invest in this stock. And I don't follow Buffett, so I'm not going to invest in this stock. I've chosen another one to invest in. JetBlue, again, you know, 55% drop, 0% yield stable over the past year. This is Southwest. This was a contender because I've just ridden Southwest. People love Southwest. It's very high in demand. They, they, have, they, run, a big, they run a good company. But I've decided not to in favor of uh, Hawaiian Airlines. Why Hawaiian Airlines? Well, they lost a ton. So this, this column is quite important, okay? I'm investing in companies that lost the most, but also that showed a rather stable year. Okay, if it's been going down the last year and then they lost a ton, well, if it's going down slowly, eh, I'm not so sure about that. That gives me pause. So by the way, I'll stop here. There's a million things you can look at when you're investing. A million things you can look at when you're investing. You know, people are watching me right now. They're like, this guy's an idiot. This guy's an idiot. He needs to, he's not taking this into this consideration. Well, I could tell you your exact strategy and get it wrong. So this is what I feel comfortable with. It's worked out for me. I'm a successful investor for 12 years and I'm a successful investor because I'm level-headed. I have money in cryptos, they're, they're plummeting. You know what, there's a time to buy. If you're a long-term investor, I think it's the best type of investor because you're not worried about these short-term fluxes. You're, you believe in the potential or you don't. Do I believe in United Airlines will go bankrupt or do I, or do I not? I don't, I think that'd be great. So it's a great time to invest their own discount. Uh, this is an interesting one. Um, Save. So Save is Spirit Airlines. I've, I've ridden Spirit Airlines. They are a terrible, they take last place for the airlines. They're terrible. They're terrible. The seats don't even recline. Yes, they're budget and that's a big market, but I think I would rather pay more. I know I would rather pay more and I think other people would rather pay more to get a less shitty experience riding a plane. 
So they're just out, even though they've lost the most. Also, over the last year, they have been in decline. Hawaiian Airlines, there, they are, uh, they are taking the cake there. Okay, 3.7, 3.4% yield. That's nice. Now, Vegas, I have decided to go. This is Wynn. This is uh, the Sands. And this is MGM. I've decided to go uh, MGM because of the last year. They've shown a slight increase. Win and uh, they've shown a slight increase, uh, and they have the biggest drop. While Win and Sands, they've been stable the last year, but there's been a lot of volatility going up and down the last year. The cruise liners. This one I'm still undecided on. Uh, this is um, so. Let me see. I forget. <laughs> Here's the ticket symbol for the day. Uh, Norwegian Cruise Line Holdings. So look, they actually went up. They went up 15%. If I didn't do this video and I invested right right away, I would have had maybe a 10% gain. You can see. But doesn't matter because I'm a long-term investor. It's still on discount. So I'm going to update my chart here. That's uh, that's 13 here. All right, and then we'll do, let's see what this one is. Royal Caribbean. They're also up 8%. That's 35. Okay, wow, look at that. So, uh, yeah, I'm undecided on these two. I'm not investing in this middle one here uh, because it, it is the largest in the industry, but it showed a slight, slight decrease over the past 12 months. It has a nice yield. So uh, Royal Caribbean Airlines has a 10% yield um 70 drop norwegian has a zero percent yield 70 percent drop they're very stable so this is the norwegian is the third largest they have an 8.7 market share about six billion dollars in revenue last year uh, royal caribbean uh, third largest of or um, three times the size of norwegian second largest in the industry nine and a half billion revenue i'm gonna i'm gonna we'll see we'll see which one i do there so these random ones, um, this one, you know, I don't know much about it. It's just in the oil industry. I'm going to invest in this one because they have a high yield. They dropped half their value. And oil is, is kind of directly but indirectly related. You know, airlines use oil. Uh, yes, uh, cruise liners use oil, but it's also slightly different. So I, I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking I'm, I'm going to do that. Saber here is uh, they provide some kind of a technology, pricing technology to the airline industry. Uh, they were stable over the past 12 months. They have a yield. So, so I like this because it's different. It's different. Uh, this is uh, FedEx. You know, it's not, that wouldn't be bad. Slight decrease over the past year. Nice yield. It dropped a lot. Um, I think it'll be around. It's probably a safe investment. Viacom, huge, gigantic media corporation. Safe investment, probably. Uber, I actually already invested in. I forget when I invested in them. It might have been December. as well as when they were at about 28 bucks. Now they're at 20 bucks. I'm just curious. What are they at right this second? So they're at, yeah, about 2050. You can see how precise I am. Yeah, about this, about that. So Uber, um, yeah, I'm gonna reinvest in them. I've already invested in them. This is definitely my most risky investment. Um, it it kind of reminds me of Facebook. If you remember Facebook, they, they dropped in half. They started out around 39, they dropped in half. People were saying, oh, they don't have, you know, they're gonna go bankrupt, they're a terrible company. Uh, but they came back, of course they came back and they've been tremendously valuable since then. I think Uber's in the same boat. They're a technology company. They're not a car company. Well, obviously, it's Uber Technologies. But something about them I like. I had a conversation with with, with a girl in Miami Beach, actually, and she kind of turned me on to this. I thought about it, and I said, you know what? I'm going to invest. And actually, since I invested in, in December, the thing has just risen from 28 to, like, I think it went to 45. Now it's back down. Cat is a uh, you know, construction equipment. I don't know not much about them. Um, they just didn't. Nike, Nike's the same thing as FedEx. Super solid. You're not going to go too wrong there. So... Let's do this. Let's make some investments. First one up is going to be United Airlines. I used to use Scott Trade, but uh, they got bought out, so I now use this one. I got automatically turned into them. All right, first purchase. So let's uh, let's move down. I'm going to do this one here, and then. Uh, Oops. Then I'm going to go into my account. I'll do three. I'll do three and then I'll go into my account and make sure that uh, things are happening as I want. Ah, so I can, uh, I can explain some things here for you. So MGM. So buy, obviously that's buy. That's really all you're going to buy and you're going to sell. There's going to be some other options here, but don't even worry about them as, as a beginner investor. A limit order, um, that's basically tells the market I want to buy at this price and not this price um, I'm gonna I'm saying that I'm just I'm just saying I think this is just buy at the price um, that's what that is and then uh, days this is like when you actually want to want to start buying um, I'm just gonna put it in the, in the day that means like buy now 
you review the order, they tell you how much total cost is, commission, review everything, and uh, place order. Now we've got, okay, looks like we have these uh, filled. All right, and here we go. Let's let's look at the current the current price again. See if anything crazy has happened. Twelve thirty two. It's it's the same. So I think I know who I'm going to take. Even though that's thirty three thirty three. Even though you know I somehow I'm leaning towards this one. Somehow, some way. I don't know why, but. I'm gonna go with this one because of the yield. I like the yield. That's called an income investor when you're investing in companies that give a high yield. Maybe I'll invest in both of them. Nah, let's just do one. Maybe another one later, but I'm gonna go ahead and go with this one. Final purchase of the evening. I'm in Manila. I live in Airbnbs. The city is on lockdown. As of tonight, it's on double lockdown. So I placed my order. That means I will unhighlight this. And there you have it. So. TD Ameritrade was rather, rather flawless. Let me just check my account. Okay. So that's that. That's that's my process. Uh, I think uh, I think it's called uh, fundamental. I invest in the fundamentals of the business. And again, uh, the the blog post is here. Uh, if you want, go go to the blog here uh, and to the left side. I have uh, different topics that you may or may not be interested in. Uh, self-improvement is going to be self-improvement and lifestyle is going to be these type of articles so if you like this chat about investing uh, you can uh, here's one about learning the language here's one about approach anxiety how to count cards the easy way a method i kind of developed how to inject creativity in your conversation so quite quite random things if you think of writing a book there you go this is a this is speaking of beginning investors if you're a beginner weightlifter if you're kind of intimidated by the gym if you're a female especially intimidated from the gym intimidated by weights god forbid you need to read that article. It's it's highly, highly uh, accurate. It's kind of like no BS, kind of like I am. It tells you how it is, which is a lot easier than you think. Don't listen to your don't listen to your friends telling you you gotta take this up and take that stuff of it. Go in six days a week. You know, are you serious about this or not? No, just chill out. Don't worry about the supplements. Go in one day a week until you until you want to go for a second day a week. It's kind of the premise of that article. Why I don't watch the news, how to improve your barber shop. So there you go. Thanks for tuning in. Make some more of these videos. I'm liking it, especially in the quarantine. I got nothing else to do besides go to the gym, which I'm unsure if I can still even leave my house now, which doesn't make sense. Still kind of up in the air. Anyways, uh, subscribe to me on YouTube and Instagram, Danny Boo Boo. Thanks so much. Bye.